Okay, so if you have anything, any requests, you want to say hi. Hey, Sad, how are you doing? This is my first stream, so if you have any suggestions, any requests, anything, just ask me. Let me know if you're seeing my screen all right. Yes, so I'm just drawing, you know, like basically this is something I posted about on Instagram recently about uh, a drawing about Kermit the frog killing, trying to kill himself, trying to commit suicide. And I'm doing a few weird Muppets drawings like that, so I'm not go going to commit yet. I'm an Elmer right now who's burying something suspicious. Right, so yeah, I have, I'm looking at the, the comments. I mean, at the one commenter. Thank you for being there. <laughs> and so if you have anything to ask, you know, whatever, I'll try to keep talking while I draw. Still new to this. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely empty today because like I only streamed once before as a test and I didn't tell anyone so I don't have an audience at all right now. But I'm sure they'll come, you know. So yeah, I'm drawing on Procreate, which is an iPad app. That's pretty great. It's cool. I have to figure out also how to put maybe some background music and stuff like that. So yeah, this is Procreate. I think it's basically the main software that people use to draw with on iPad. It's honestly like the iPad is a good tool and Procreate is a great app because I'm doing mostly line work, but you can also do like painting and all that stuff. You can do a lot of stuff with it. You can even do some animation. It's, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. The main danger with Procreate, like when I got my iPad, I, I think I, I got on my couch, on my couch, like probably lived, lived on my couch without getting up for a whole week, you know, and so my back got all, all twisted because yeah, once you can just sit anywhere and draw, you tend to have bad posture. I've done, I've started recently doing some animation on it, but still, I'm still trying it out. I think I should stream that at one point to like, just try to do a silly animation loop or something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the things we do for art. Like, it's also that you don't really realize it at the time, how much you're gonna regret having bad posture, but honestly, it's the root of a lot, a lot of problems and can even impact your mood and stuff. So it's a good thing to try to like be active and not just like even, you know, a lot of old school drawing teachers will tell you, you have to draw from the shoulder, you have to draw in front of you and not like hunched over you or your paper and your, if you actually try to do that, you realize that you can get some some better line quality. Even if it's harder at the beginning, it's gonna be great for for your style in the long run. And also you have less risk of like tendinitis and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm gonna try to, between Twitch and Instagram Live, I'm going to try to really often do some, uh, often do some streaming and get used to it. And just, you know, like do at least like some warm ups every day and stuff like that. 
but it's a good way to keep myself motivated too and also maybe even more used to talk because I, I can actually be silent for quite a long time if I, if I don't watch myself. I don't know, it's still new to me, all that streaming stuff, but I think it's interesting. I always enjoy watching people draw. Yeah, so big up, big up to my one, my one follower, my one commenter here. You're already keeping the chat alive. Thanks. Great to have you here. Also, yeah. Your, it's you who sent me your animation the other day, right? I remember. Oh, we have two people there. Baguette Croissant, are you actually a real, a real French or are you just a pretender? Because you know we hate pretenders here. Oh uh, yeah, sad. I remember you sent me a beautiful, like you animate, animated, did an animation, drawing animation of a, a poem, and it was really cool. Very well done. How are you doing, stolen salad? Are you an illegal salad? Are you like a salad living in the street? Yeah, totally sad. Like when you get really into a project, oftentimes you you start having bad posture because you're just getting tense trying to do it quick. So to recap what we are doing right what I'm doing right now is drawing some weird Muppet stuff. So so stolen salad say they live in a bowl. Well, that's nice. You know, not everyone can afford a bowl these days. So yeah, but you said you are stolen salad. So I thought maybe you are out of the bowl, but I'm glad you, you have a bowl. You know, not everyone can say that these days. And so, yeah, I said as, do you intentionally make the line art squibbly? Well, like, not really, but kind of, it really depends. I think with the iPad, what I get that's really cool is the ability to just completely do a very black line and then erase it very easily, which like you cannot do that with a regular marker, you know, or, or brush pen or something. So I tend to use that. It's just dangerous because you can find yourself zooming in closer and closer and then your line loss loses all the energy. Like when you do with a pen, you have to commit a little bit to your line. Stolen salad, you say, I'm a wealthy salad, I won't apologize. I think, you know, that's true, right? I, I mean, I can respect that, you know, like you don't have to be ashamed of your ball. I'm sure you worked hard for it. And, you know, like everyone deserves a ball, you know. Don't have to apologize to that, like, unless you're like maybe, maybe a criminal salad. And yeah, line art is. I mean, I'm not a guy with a great line quality. I can do some stuff, but you know, I can't, like, do beautiful ellipses or straight lines like people who really master their craft can. I'm working on it a bit. But usually I draw from the wrist very close, so. But I kind of like it too, like an imperfect line can be cool. It's like a shaky or raspy voice in a singer, you know, it's not technically perfect, but it can be really enjoyable. Yeah, so this is Elmo with a lot of problems. You know, I think I may be already correcting my lines a bit too much. It's kind of big, probably because I'm, since I'm talking, I'm just like, maybe not focusing right. I'm gonna try and maybe redraw this. 
use the first layer as a guide and try to have a, a simple clean line. And Mo used to scare you as a kid. Well, I mean, have you seen the gif where there are just like flames behind him and his arms raised up like he's doing a human sacrifice? Like that guy is scary, you know. He's, um, he's done some shit. That's what I'm trying to convey with my art, you know, like they are criminals, all these Muppets, like you think they are, you think they got where they are just by being nice? No, like it's like a mafia, man. So yeah, you see. So yeah, stolen salad, I'm, right now I'm drawing on an iPad and um, with I have the Apple Pencil and I'm using uh, the app called Procreate. It's uh, like, I think the most used app for art on the iPad. So I just listen to everyone and use this one. It's uh, really fine, you know, like it works great. But I also draw with like, I like brush pens, you know, with the uh, brush tip. So I don't have to dip it in ink or anything, but I can still, uh, I can still have like that flexibility. And I also, I mean, I draw with kind of everything. Also on my computer, I just have an old Intuos Wacom tablet. So it's a tablet without a screen. So it's a bit of getting used to when I draw in Photoshop on my computer. But I'm thinking of switching to Clip Studio Paint which is like used for manga and stuff like that and seems to have a lot of cool tools. So yeah, but right now I'm just drawing with one of the basic Procreate pens. So what's cool with Procreate is that you can start drawing really quick. You don't have a lot of other tools to deal with, it's just the drawing tools. And uh, you can even have time lapse of your stuff. So yeah, I'm. I think we have. We are at three viewers now, which is like I. Have, I want to say say thanks to everyone, to God, to my mom, to all of you guys, because I'm feeling very, very famous right now. I should make a time lapse. Let me check. I I am not sure the setting is enabled for this one. Oh yeah. Well, you know what? I'll activate it now, so I'll have a time lapse from this point on. The only problem with the time lapse tool is that it automatically automatically starts uh, storing all the video of all the drawings you do, so it it can really saturate your hard drive really fast. So often I disable it. If I'm not planning on sharing that. You know what guys, if we get 10 viewers, I'll start taking some requests. Like it could be fun if, if there are some people in there, I'll start taking some drawing requests. I can also use you guys for content so I can post on TikTok some stuff and you know, got to feed the beast. Oh, did I scare stolen salad? Why? Because of the, I don't know what I've done. Welcome third viewer. And like you come in there and accuse me of scaring people. I'm really glad you're here. <laughs> just kidding. If I say some dumb stuff, it's just because it's my first time streaming, so I'm just running my math, you know. Are you still there, Salad? Oh no, you left. Oh, damn. Oh my god. You are kidding? Well, that's really mean, man. You know, I'm really... Uh, I'm really sensitive and you just hurt me deeply by accusing me of scaring Salad. But, you know, you can stay at school, I forgive you, right? You're human. I'm assuming you're human, right? Oh yeah, it's kind of weird to talk to people who can hear you. Huh. 
Oh yeah, I'm not prone to irony. Like I think irony really sucks. I think it's the worst thing in the world. Like every problem would be fixed if people just stop being ironic. That's really what I think, honestly. Yeah, I'm not too scared because like I'm just drawing and but see I, I'm a little scared, that's why I don't have my face on. Oh yeah, and as I suspected the other of you are sad or to your your uh what are you like a lizard man or something like that, right? It's a conspiracy thing I've heard about it. You have mole people in the ground, lizard men in the government, probably some bird guys in the sky. Yeah, your identity has been discovered and I'm notifying the authorities. A frog with good but not great butt. Well, I mean, a good but not great butt is already nice, you know. I'm glad you have a decent butt. Thank you, Sad. Like, I think the thing I lack is I don't, I'm not really great at having a smooth lines, but it still gives like some, the squiggliness gives some vibe to the line that are cool. I wish I was able to do very smooth lines. So even if I keep doing my regular style, just because it's always good to, to have some mastery of what you're doing, but you know, I'm going to practice that. So yeah, good is good, you know. Yeah, totally, like, good butt is a good butt. And you know, even like, flat butts or fat butts, they all have people who love them, and you know, that's the main thing. Yeah, 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 so, trying to think of stuff to say right now, this is, Elmo having trouble. No, one thing I'm not good at drawing at all is cars. I kind of suck at cars. So I'm going probably to f try to find a photo reference. I'm looking on my phone right now. Looking for a reference that I could use. That's the trick. There's this thing called photography that's really great, you know, because you can just copy photographs, you don't have to don't have to do stuff yourself. That's really cool. I don't know how people did before that. Let me just pick quickly some reference image. should do it. So I sending to procreate. Up. And back to the Twitch chat. chat. Is Elmo burying someone? I don't know, but he's definitely doing something pretty sketchy, you know? I don't know what it is, but... Man, there's something. Where, where is my... All right. Yep. Where are you, Elmo? All right. Might be camping, might be burying something or someone. I mean, these guys are shady, as I was saying. No, I wouldn't trust them a bit. They are basically billionaires. Very suspicious. Yeah. 
Okay, let's hope he's camping and just, you know, maybe digging a hole to poop. Like, let's just hope that, but you know, don't be too naive, guys. Like, you know, they've done some shit. Like, I know they have, I'm sure they have. So I am trying to speak out with my painting. And yeah, in, in the old days, I still used to to pay people a lot of time to have models that would pose. And they were also like just really practicing way more than me. Like I'm sure if, you know, if Michelangelo was there, he could draw a really great Elmo, like way better than I could. Probably be very famous meme artist or drawing some some hentai stuff or whatever, I know. Yeah, spreading the good word about the dangers of Muppets, you know. Like everyone's scared of the alt-right and the terrorists and all that, but really you got to watch out for those Muppets. So I'm gonna do... I'm doing very cartoony, so I'm just choosing the reference for the basic shape of the car, because I really suck at drawing cars. Okay, bye, Sadot. I can't believe you're leaving me like that. Yeah, thanks. And please come back anytime, like, keep an eye out. I'm gonna post every time I do a stream and see you soon, I hope. Yeah, just me and my viewer now. Bye. All right. This, this is looking pretty bad. Oh yeah, I'm, honestly, I'm really bad at cars. But you know, I think it's mostly you have to learn how them, what are the basic proportions and components and how to draw in perspective because a lot of it is like, it's basically modified cubes and cylinders, you know, you have to have an eye for an eye for the shapes. You can, but I think like, honestly, with a little bit of practice, I could just draw, draw some decent car, but I just don't practice at all. You know, for, I did that drawing with the SUV and the penguins. I used also a reference picture and basically I just copied it and simplified it a bit. All right. So let's not get too carried away in the details of this one. And I'm just going to pull back Elmo, look where we're at now. Let's also remove this. Okay, so. Elmo is more of a minivan guy. Mm. Yeah, maybe at least on TV, you know, but in his private life, Probably more of a private jet kind of guy, you know, like take me to Dubai kind of guy. But yeah, yeah, it does have a minivan vibe. All right. I mean, not even, yeah, all right. Just trying to not go too complex, so I'm I'm going to assemble the two images pretty quick. Just 
using the layers. Right. This is a black. Alright, let's add some background here. Oh no, there's no reason I have a blue background. It just, as you can see in my layers panel, it's just a rectangle. I'm, I can change the color easily and I often use the same template for the background. So, you know, I already have my background layer ready and I'm gonna use it for color later. But for now, it's just there. It's just there, you know. All right. Adding some pine trees for that creepy forest vibe. So like pine trees is the same, you know, I don't, I don't really, oh. The fill tool, actually, like, I think the fill tool is always kind of annoying. The fill tool is always kind of annoying, but it's not really the fill tool's fault. It's because if you use, let me show you, like, if you use a brush, let's say, like, a, yeah, like a pencil brush, right? If you want to fill that, the problem is that it just, it just can't, there's always a zone around, around that it just can't figure out if it's supposed to, to fill it or not. And so you get this kind of stuff, you know, you get these kind of edges here. And so what you have to do if you want to have easy fills is to use simple brushes because a brush is just a basic shape that's repeating and so i use like this brush i'm not using this brush actually no i'm not i use this brush and as you can see it has a pretty clean edge and so when i zoom in it's all good because it's just black or whatever color, just full color pixels, you know. But as long as you, as soon as you have a feathered edge, it's not really going to be possible for the field to just completely fill, you know, because it has some different levels of opacity and all that stuff. So yeah, one hap one creepy little tree and trees is the same, I don't really practice them. Like this is basically more of the symbol of a pine tree than an actual, doesn't really look like that, but you will recognize the shape. So that's what how you do it in cartoons. Where right, draw the real thing when you have an easy symbol. There we are. Maybe at the third one to suggest that kind of uh, lost place. Let's add a couple of trees in the distance. So you know it's like, it's way out. Maybe one here. Do I make this in one sitting? Well, it depends like oftentimes, yeah. What I often do is like in one sitting, I'll do a sketch so I know where, like what I had when I began, you know. Just a, a rough drawing so I know I have already decided where the character will be and all that stuff. And yeah, often I will do at least my line, line art in one sitting 
if I can and then another another setting for color if I if I'm really in a hurry I'll do both but it, it can get a bit tiring and also since I'm like the big thing is I usually stop regularly to take like a coffee break stuff like that I'm not doing that right now not right now but maybe I'll do it a bit later so this is actually kind of forcing me to stay at my screen longer which is which is good like you know less distraction since I have to entertain my audience which is you for now and yeah it's good so yeah I think I'm gonna do the line art of the second one maybe once I want his expression to be really like fucked up should he be crying a little bit I don't know why I enjoy so much cartoon suffering, but I do. I love having cartoonish characters in, in fucked up situations, basically. It's a, um, see what's here. Well, don't worry, I think it's not easy to get some people on some followers on Twitch. So I'm glad I'm glad you're here and I have one follower. So I technically do have an audience and you're a nice guy too. So it's, it's fine. And you know, like it's normal when you start a new social media, a new project, usually there's, there's not a lot of people. I'm grateful that, you know, I have you and the people on my Discord channel and people on Instagram following me. And yeah, I'm kind of mean to my creations. So, yeah, let's work on the other one. This is Kermit. So yeah, this one, I posted it on my story. I want to Kermit suicide. I like it, you know, I reworked the drawing to be a little closer to what Kermit the Frog actually looks like. And I'm gonna try to to work on this one. So I'm getting some reference for a six shooter gun. Maybe not a six shooter, this is actually like a cowboy gun, so maybe I think it's called a revolver. Yeah, feels more like it. This goal is a three five seven mag. I'm sure if some gun enthusiast sees this video, he'll have some stuff to say about the gun I'm using. But you know, I'm not a gun enthusiast. Alright, this one looks scary enough. I'm gonna use it. back to Twitch chat. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's definitely a picture of something like that already existing. I'm, sh I'm sure the joke itself, the pun itself has been made, you know. But still, I like it. All right.
right, let's draw a wheel again. Probably actually going to try to do it fairly simple like that. I'm gonna squish it a little bit. No respect to the beautiful machine. in there all right I should do it all right let's draw again. a different color to draw just so I can see my strokes better. Okay, so right away you can see that the gun is actually kind of complex. Like I think so you have the main cannon here but then you have this part here who I think is to the axle for the barrel, for the for the bullet feed, you know, and probably something for the gas here. Yeah, anyway, I'm gonna simplify it, you know, this is just a reference. All right, let's see. Just completely ignore the last, last volume above the barrel. Probably go, going to have to redraw this one more time after. used to kind of, when I was drawing guns, I used to cut off these volumes, but you know, I think, so this is in volume, but I want to have it like that. Well, thankfully this is not a gun drawing contest, so. Something like that will do. Even if we have so thought. Oh, do we have another viewer? I'm seeing another viewer here. Welcome. What a crowd. So we are we are drawing a frog who's committing suicide. Great pun if you ask me. Welcome and yeah, I'm just using a gun for reference. I should just sketch this real quick. Oop. I'm reading the chat as well as I can. If you have any questions or anything you can ask. Redraw that again. All right. I'm just gonna make one big barrel, I think. In cartoon, the main thing is to have it be legible. So you can focus on what's really fun, which is a beloved cartoon childhood character killing himself, which is like really the wholesome vibe I'm going for. All right, let's do it like that. Yeah, 
just completely forget everything I've seen about guns. Just cartoonify it completely. With a trigger here. Oh, this is stolen salad. You're back. We thought something happened to your ball, you know. We are worried about you. Actually, we, we did say a lot of bad stuff about you when you left, but now that you're back, it's all forgiven. Alright, so stolen salad i'm gonna show you again what we were doing while you were off so you can see the elmo progress we're basically at this stage for elmo still have basically i think i'd call the line art done at this point but there's a lot to be added with color and actually i'm seeing like just a little spot i missed Well, you know, purpose or not, you left and we'll never forgive you. I'm just kidding, of course. Yeah, it's not the greatest day for Elmo, definitely. But maybe it's the worst day for whatever else is in there with him, you know? Like, okay, maybe Elmo has made a terrible mistake, but he's not the one paying the price. All right, let's go back to the other fun stuff which is our friend Kermit and guns all right this is the part of the gun that you pull back and release and it goes and hits the back of the bullet makes the powder explode and projects called the hammer I think Pro projects the, the bullet and I'm drawing it really poorly what does it look like All right. yeah so as you can see it's not as rock drawing cartoon is not the rock and roll lifestyle you think yeah i just like usually if it's related artwork like comics panels and stuff like that i do them on the same file like i'm not gonna do a whole a whole lot of these but i'm doing at least two I think this should work. Let's still add this recognizable groove and maybe still have something like that so it doesn't look too messed up even though it's not really a faithful gun already. I'm going to go back to black as Amy Winehouse said. this all right and let's have fun oh yeah it looks kind of weird that this would be like that I'm gonna simplify the gun a bit again all right so yeah this is the way I drew the hand of Kermit is kind of weird. I like drawing the little sausage fingers, but logically he would maybe be using this, his other hand. The angle is weird anyway. Well, maybe it's not his hand. I, I didn't think about that. What if it's not? I think it's funny if it's his.
right. Thinking about what the hand posi the better hand position would be. I mean, I like I like that it's kind of twisted. If it's like that. Oh, it could be more like like that. Yeah, I'm not sure why Elmo would do that. Maybe it's a lover squirrel. Maybe, maybe Kermit owes him money. You know. But, like, yeah. What if Elmo killed Kermit and buried him, you say? Well, that's a good question. I kind of like the idea, but I still want to say with the, stay with the pun. It, it's supposed to look like you commit suicide. Maybe I should use, I'll make it look, it looks like he committed suicide. So stolen said says, I thought you were gonna work on a commission. Have you changed your plans? Well, I wanted to start with something light, you know, just uh, some random bit massacre. And I got carried away, but I'm gonna definitely work on a commission soon. At least start the first couple of sketches. But I want to have since I started, I want to have the main decisions taken. You know, I think the best, the best I could do, maybe I'll do the hand kind of in the shadows. And so you're not sure who's actually pulling the trigger, who's holding the gun. Get a little too much stuff in there. Yeah, I have a DND commission that I need to work on, which is like a cleric, storm cleric, or something like that. I have some reference that's holding a severed a skull. It's supposed to be his best friend's girl who can, he keeps in the bag to tell him his knowledge, to use his knowledge. So I think it should be fun to do. But still want to do, still want to do the Muppet crimes. All right. Oftentimes I actually like the first basic draft almost better than what I do after. Like this is, it works, you know, almost like you could do, add some painting behind it, some textured stuff, and it's gonna be something really arty. Do you have a pen for the Elmo drawing or did you just want to draw him doing something horrifying? I do have a pen, which reminds me, I mean, obviously I wanted to draw him doing something horrifying, but I also, I'm gonna stop on this, this is silly. I also wanted, I have a pen, it's Elmo money, Elmo problems. You know, like more money, more problems. So I want to, I actually want to go back and add some, add some dollar bills in s somewhere in the picture of the first one, because as you reminded me, it 
should be implied that he's done this, it's because of money in a way or another. Ah, you giggled. Really happy to hear that. That's what I live for, giggling. Just add some dollar bits in there. Maybe stacks. Stacks of dollar bits. Usually have some kind of bend around them. Yeah, this is just bad. All right, some money. That's why you do the horrific thing you do. Have you heard of main skin? I don't think I have. What's that? Can you tell me about it? Checking real quick. Alright. It's a it's a band. It's a music band. No, I don't. I don't know main skin. Why is it? Is it creepy like me? No, I don't think. I don't think I've heard it. I'll check it out. Okay, so we've added some money maybe for extra symbolism. Let's have like a dollar bill that's falling in the hole like that. And a couple of loose ones. It's tricky to add details with these big brushes, keep the simple style but still add some some volume and stuff. What music do I listen to? I like a lot of stuff. Honest if I'm being completely honest, these days I listen to a lot of chill hop music on YouTube, you know, like the playlists with with cartoon characters either completely high and glitchy or just cute raccoons chilling. I just listen to a lot of that kind of instrumental hip hop beats. I like hip hop, I like rock, listen to lot, some French music as well. I don't listen to much metal to be honest, even though I like some metal stuff, I just, usually it's not my energy, you know. I used to listen to a lot of reggae when I was uh, younger, but not so much now. Some classics, Bob Marley, Bob Dylan, Leonard Cohen. What do you guys listen to? All right, so I think we are good on the money front here. Let's go back to our froggy friend.
Do you have an opinion on Taylor Swift? Well, not really, to be honest. Like, I know, like, some people hate her and love her. I think she makes some good pop music. It's not really my stuff, but it's all right. Oh, we have six viewers. Oh, what's going on with Frog? You ask Captain Galahad. Well, it's not his car meeting suicide, you know. So it's not doing well, but wait till you see what's happening with Elmo. It's not brilliant either, I'll tell you that. Yeah, we have six streamers, six uh, viewers, that's great. Yeah, wait a bit for Elmo, you know, like, just take this in already. It's gonna be, it's a rough run, you know, I, it's art, it's not, it's not meant to be cuddly, it's telling deep truth about existence, you know, and the deep truth about existence is that it's fucked up. And so, you have stuff like that happening to frogs. All right, all right, all right. So, as I said earlier, when there was only two viewers, if we get to 10 viewers, I'll do some, a few drawing requests. Maybe, you know what, let's not be too optimistic. If we get to seven viewers, I'll do some requests. In the meanwhile, I'll be drawing a frog that's having a bad time. Frog seems to be big art on Instagram, internet. Yeah, I don't know why. I mean, I think frogs are just really fun to draw. You know, they have big eyes, a big mouth, funny legs. I really enjoy drawing frogs. And yeah, it's true that a lot of, there's a lot of frog, frog content out there. And you know, I'm here for it. I like it. All right. I have to bring back Carpenter Frog at some point. If you guys remember it, when I did that big poster with viewer prompts, there was a, that one Carpenter Frog that was like a happy little frog just building away. And people really dug that, so I have to do some wholesome Carpenter, Carpenter Frog at some point. Sorry for my accent, I, I get lazy pretty quick. Hi, Ketamine Pigeon, nice name. Yeah, it's a very VIP meeting. It's like only very important people, not the losers on my Discord server. You line or slug? Well, that's a good question if you're asking me. I'm afraid I'll start a religious war if I say so, but if I had to pick, I mean, the slug seems to be having the more fun, you know, but the white line is like a very scary existential thing. So maybe I should worship it to be safe. Like I don't want to be white lines, you know. Oh, we lost a viewer. Well, that happens. RIP viewer. All right, Kermit, what's going on? All right, I think we're on a good track here. You know, I usually, I usually write my text with a font, but I think I'll do handmade this time. A stolen salad way, are you mad? Are you mad because you're, are you a slug? Like if I have to be honest, I'm probably a quacker. I don't know. I think I'm all of them, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cop out and say I'm all of them because you know, they're all my babies. I love them all. 
Just the slugs are less scary than the line. I say that. And probably a sad boy. Uh -huh. Hey, silent guy. Thanks. Thanks. I'm glad that you like my voice. It's like one hour in, so it's probably getting deeper and raspier. So maybe it's a good thing. And yeah, ketamine pigeon, I agree, like we should treat it like potter houses. I'm gonna do some personality tests and stuff like that. I love that people are like resonating with their factions. I mean, like I'm calling it factions, but you know, like it's all in good fun. I don't want, I know that there's always someone who takes it too far. So just remember it's all it's all in good fun, like, actually, those slugs are not very scary in a while, anyway. You know, their main weapon is love. You're the one, oh, are you the one who drew the witch white line thing, the, the one with, with the skeleton with me behind it? Stolen salad. You're the one who drew that. It's all for fun, as Kermit got that gun. Yeah, it all starts for fun, but I'm sure at some point, like, there's gonna be a sexy slug with a, with a gun in their mouth, you know, or something like that. But, you know, I'm not responsible for that. I'm just, I'm just an artist. Uh, stolen Salad, yeah, thank you so much for that drawing. It was really cool, like, really amazing. I think I've added it to the story highlights on Instagram. Yeah, it was a, actually like you're good. It was a really great drawing, beautiful stuff. I need to start printing out the, the fan art I get. I want to do like a fan art wall at my place. So many stuff to do so little time. Right, I think it's time. Let's go back to Elmo for all the people who haven't seen him yet because we have two drawings going on. This is the first one. Or maybe it's this. No, I think I, yeah. I'm not sure if it should be the first or second. Yeah, Stolen Salad, definitely the Wall of Fame would be a great thing to have. I have to work on that. I'm trying to do it at some point. So let's do some color here. Captain Galahad, do you mean cartel as in like the Mexican cartel? There's definitely like some breaking bad or, you know, criminal movie vibes in here. So it's, let's go with like a dark night. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely there's something shady going on. All right, so I'll add first the light source. Maybe a bit yellowish, dirty green yellow. No, I think Elmo is red, but she would be almost purple with that light, I think. Let's start with that. All right. I'm just drawing all the outlines so I can just fill it completely at once. Oh yeah, I like I know some color theory. 
I'm not like, I'm not a very analytical person, you know, I don't learn all that stuff by heart, but, you know, just by doing, you kind of get a sense. Oh, oh. my field didn't work as I hoped. What's going on? I hate when this happens. Maybe just the threshold. So there's a problem. Probably missed a spot. Yeah, there you go. I still have my reference for Elmo. No, I don't. What's his nose like? I'll Google that real quick. Elmo, yeah, yellow nose, right? Let's go with yellowish. Did I go to art school? Ask stolen salad. Kind of like I did um, in France. In France, I did a study something called uh, applied arts, which is like graphic design and that stuff. So I didn't do a lot of drawing class, but I did learn like you know design principles and stuff like that. And then I learned a bit of motion design, which became my main job for, like, still know it's uh, kind of what I do to pay rent, you know. So motion design is animating, animating like logos, doing explainer videos, a lot of stuff like that. Animation, basically. Crashing with After Effects, yeah. I use, like, After Effects was the main software I used until this year where I've started drawing more than doing that. But yeah, After Effects, I still use a lot. It's a frustrating software, but it's, it's very powerful too. Right. You know what, maybe I'm going to give Elmo closer to his original color and just alter it after that. Yeah, this is better. Drawing is amazing. Yeah, I agree. I agree that drawing is really cool because you don't have to render stuff. You don't have to like get anyone on board or you can just have a pen on and a paper and have lots of fun. Are you planning to do another chill wave music vid collab? Oh yeah, I totally have big plans with the guy. It's a, an old friend of mine who did the first mixtape. Who's called Thomas Sound Factory. And we have actually some chill wave projects. Something that's going to be called Sad City Radio. We are going to drop some mixtapes and try to get other artists in. And basically, I'll do the illustration for the mixtapes and it's going to be another way to develop, you know, the universe of my comics, the universe of Sad Boy and the Duck and all that. It's all happening in Sad City. I have so much stuff I want to do. I have to launch a Patreon, not because I want to get rich, but simply because I want to be able to, you know, do only that and not worry too much about paying rent. Yeah, it could be really cool to do that. I love collaborating with other artists and I love the idea of having a universe that you can explore in different media, you know. So having animations, comics, music, novels, all that. Like, I think it'd be really cool. 
I'm gonna add the dollar bills now. And you know, I think I'll probably, probably won't add too much color to the background because it's not really necessary and it makes the scene easier to read. But I'm gonna add a bit of lighting effect so you get that feeling. color for the rubber band. I don't know how it's supposed to look. Love working to chill sounds. Yeah, me as well. Actually, I think I got into that whole chill wave thing because since I was spending long hours animating and doing stuff uh, like drawing, I needed I wanted to listen to instrumental music and I discovered, you know, all that chill study beats to study, relax to all that stuff. And honestly, it's kind of my vibe. Like I, I love all kinds of music, but I, I do like the ambient quality of it, you know, and there's a lot of great producer who made great beats and great songs with that. All right. So yeah, I need to find the exact phrasing for this is probably going to be the first image. I'm just going to write the text here for now. It's going to be, do you know Pandras? No, let, I'm, I'm going to Google that real quick. What, I don't know what it is. All right, it's a musician. The guy who does music and who on Twitch, right? Oh, Captain Galahad says, I hate drawing cars, kudos to you. Well, let me show you my little secret right here. Yeah, that's how I draw cars most of the time. <laughs> I'm not really good at them either, but I think it it's actually not the hardest to learn to draw if you just learn to think of them as big cubes, you know, like just apply some perspective and it's a good exercise. Right. So now I have ponderous, I don't... I don't really know, but I'm sure it's like some kind of of music. I, I'm assuming it's those chill wave music. So yeah, the text for this is going to be... Well, you can see it live. money yes, I have to add the panel border as well behind this, there we go. So yeah, Elmo Money and another one. This is why I use fonts, you know, because my lettering is not very consistent. Why is he crying though? Well, I'm not sure why he's crying, but what I know is that he's digging a ditch 
at night in the middle of the forest and there's a lot a lot of dollar bills next to him and he seems messed up so I leave you to know what exactly he's done I leave you to guess but clearly he's in trouble yeah exactly stolen salad and I think it's funny if you if you're not sure exactly what's going on that's what I like to do you know with mot most of my stuff I try not to give the answer if I can avoid it I really like your lettering. Well, thank you. Like, I know my I, I like my lettering some days, but some days it just doesn't work. You know, I mean, I like that it's kind of clumsy, but it's not always the right clumsy. You know, Elmo money, Elmo problems. As a kid, I used to had a really messy handwriting. It used to get me some, like, used to annoy some of my teachers, but just like, I've never actually had a pretty handwriting, but no, I've kind of, well, basically I don't really handwrite anymore, but you know, I can have like something that works in my style at least. I think it should actually probably be above like this and everything else should be below. He's the mort in my mind. That's why he cries. Yeah, there's a real morty vibe. Oh God, oh jeez. Rick, why do I have to go to dig the ditch? Oh, why did you make me a Muppet, Rick? I can see that. And Sad says, damn, this has progressed a lot since I left. Well, yeah, you know, I move fast. I move fast like a car that's that goes fast you know i'm not great at metaphors but you get what i mean all right so i think this basically yes you have the last magic trick i'm gonna reveal my secret here i just add a layer of of watercolor and it works really well every time I try to tweak it a little bit this is the most fun part where I just I just try random stuff you fell from the stairs sad is what you're saying well Poor stairs. I hope your stairs are right. Hope you didn't hit them too hard. Oh, did you really? Did you really fall from the stairs? In that case, I hope I hope you are good. I hope you didn't mess up your knees. Yeah, exactly. It's actually I'm using most days. I'm using the same sample like it's something I, I did like two years ago and I can tweak the color and I just choose I just choose like 
this EU U tweaks. And I added to most of what I do, but I want to at some point I want to do some more, you know. I want to do some new textures, but it just works like that. Alright, actually I think it's still not perfect. So maybe I need to add something. Let's see what I can do. Alright, something like that. Maybe something like that. Some lighting effect would be enough. Oh, yeah, you want to know what music I listen to because you missed that. I mean, I've listened to a lot of different music. These days I'm listening to a lot of just chill beats, you know, chill hop stuff because I like instrumental ambient music. I mean, I'm just, I'm just taking playlists from YouTube, but I also like a lot of classic folk music. I like some hip hop, French hip hop and American too. And a lot of varied stuff, you know, like there's, I mean, everywhere you can find some good music, but I don't listen to that much. Like I don't. I don't try to find new artists and stuff like that. I just listen to what people make me listen to or just find something I like and just binge it on YouTube, you know. Oh yeah, let's look at something like that. Just adding some volume with the light from the car. It's not perfect, but it doesn't have to be. It has to look decent. Right. Let's see, I like, like lots of music. Um, I don't know what I've been listening to recently. Other than Chill Hop. Yeah, some Neo Soul stuff as well. If you are ever interested in aesthetic satanic theater rock, look at Ghost. Yeah, it's Nazi cult. I don't know if that, that's really my vibe, but I'll definitely check it out at some point. I was like discovering stuff. Oh yeah, rap is a big thing in France. There's a lot, lot of rappers. I mean, I'm not really following the scene anymore but i know there's a lot of great rappers and singers and rap is uh, probably one of the main music genres yeah that's true aesthetic satanic theater rock is a very specific genre i don't know if you guys know the show flight of the concords it's a really funny show about a couple of New Zealand musicians who come to New York. And I think at some point they say something like they were named New Zealand's best or second best folk hip hop two man acoustic duo or something extremely specific like that. It's, it's kind of funny. All right, I think this is working better like that. What do you guys think? It's called Flight of the Concords.
c o n c h o r d s For chill lo-fi with some hip hop vibes, I recommend Joji. I'll I'll check Joji out. It's really the kind of stuff I'm listening to these days. Uh, thanks for saying you like the shading. A movie on a French comedian who came to the States and no one knew who he was. It could be a guy called Gad El Malé, G-A-D, because I know he was famous in France and he came to the States. I mean, maybe it's not him, but I think he did probably something like that. Yeah, it seems to be a lot of recommendation for for Georgie. I definitely want to check it out. All right, so I think Elmo. Yeah, still I'm just doing some very small lighting tweaks. I think this works. And all right, so the first one is good. And now we still have our friends, our froggy friend. All right, let's add the text as well. Let's just lower it like we did. So, so yeah, I'll check out the G and for Kermit, because the original pun was just, I want to Kermit suicide, but I want maybe to try to connect the two images and say something like, you know, Elmo might be connected in one way or another. So... I would like to find a sentence that leaves a little bit of doubt about what happened to Kermit, you know, like, I can't believe he would commit suicide. Ah, uh, he wasn't the type to commit suicide. Maybe that would work. I don't think he would commit suicide, you know, something like that. Like it's someone who's asking, like doubting the story, who's saying this. Yeah, exactly. It's like a conspiracy. I don't think he'd come didn't think it came it's suicide. Maybe add Kermit's eyeball or something in the other panel. You know what? That's a good idea to maybe do something like that. Try to leave a little clue. I mean, I'll come back to it once, once we're done with Kermit. If you have Spotify, you should add some of yours favorite to public playlists from Discord server. 
Yeah, I should, but sadly, I don't have Spotify. Like, I've been on a kick of just, just using... I did have the subscription for a while, but I'm trying to really spend as little money as I can. Because, uh, you know, like, art isn't making a lot right now. So, yeah, I, I try not to spend on that. So I'm mostly on YouTube right now, just, just chill out playlists. But yeah, YouTube playlist could be cool. I'll try to start doing that and add stuff I like to it. That's a great idea. Let's try for the text. Okay, let's do it like a quote. I just... I just can't believe. Ah, this is too long. I need a really short sentence. Who thought he'd com he'd commit suicide? I hope this isn't too personal, but what's your main source of income currently? Well, I don't, I like, I'm living in the country, so I don't spend a lot of money. I do some motion design, like animating, explainer videos, corporate videos, stuff like that. I have a little bit of that. I also do my Warhammer comics, which are paid by Games Workshop. So that's great. That's a lot of, lot of my income this year also. And a little bit from the shop. Oh, no, I, don't worry. I'm not despair at all. Like I'm doing what I love and I know it takes a lot of time. But yeah, it just, you have to be careful about spending money, you know, like if you want to be an artist, you have, you have just to hold on for a long time and not buy too much stuff if you can avoid it. So yeah, like this year, I think half my income was from drawing and making comics, which is cool. And I want to try to go 100%. That's why I want to start the start the patreon and all that but uh, yeah i don't know i want to start the patreon in september but i've been saying that for a while so i'm gonna try and the goal is to get oh yeah oh yeah, yeah. i just can't believe yeah i just can't believe it commit suicide i mean Maybe I should just say, why would he commit suicide? Yeah, I think that works. Let's go with that. I mean, if you guys have another idea, drop it in the comments, you know, but I'm going to try it. That sounds pretty cool. It's heartwarming to know you're doing what you love. We need more of that. Well, I agree, like it's important. You don't know how long you're gonna be alive for, so just try doing cool stuff, you know. Might be that Elmo is framing him with a weapon outside him. It's all a setup. The shovel could have a bit of green. Yeah, that's some that's some great ideas, guys. I'm going to try to add these little details once we are done with the lettering and the color as well. Yep. 
Well, by Captain Galahad, thanks for swing swinging by. It was great, great to have you. Yeah, I'm gonna definitely post it on Instagram in like one hour or something like that. Yeah, thanks for coming. do that by captain okay so it's a bit big Just adjust this a little bit. It's just too big. Maybe even this. And let's switch this a little bit to the left. All right, we still have four people there. That's great. Thanks, guys. All right. I think that works. Maybe I should emphasize the he. Oh, man, that's too much. I'll just keep it simple. All right, let's have some fun with the color. I mean, since we did Elmo with all blue. As, uh, so Sad is saying there's a choosing beggar asking me for a commission. He asked for like two dollars for an A4 portrait and he was like, that's too much for just a quick drawing. Yeah, I mean, some people some people are just scum, you know, like it's basically the same kind of guy who will ask you to help him out a little bit and actually wants you to redo his kitchen or whatever. If you want, like, I don't know how, if you know this guy or something, but you could ask him to send a photo or something and then you just do something like that. You know, actually, if you want, if you want, I'll send you this drawing and you can do, say, okay, that was a quick portrait. That was $2. He's not going to pay you, obviously, but, you know, if you want to troll him, I can contribute that. All right. So, color. I think since Elmo was like all blue, we could go with something orangey. All right. All right, so yeah, $2, I mean, I think you aren't you like from the Indian subcontinent? I'm not sure, but yeah, because like two dollars obviously is not a lot of money, maybe a little more where you are. But yeah, yeah, from India, all right. I mean, I'm. I think two dollars is still really low, but you know, if you want to get some experience working maybe do it or if you really need the money but yeah keep in mind don't yeah, it's ah cost of sandwiches yeah that's a big index i guess it's all right it's all right but remember when he starts to ask for edits and stuff like that you just don't have to do it like you have to value your art it's always a dance because the goal is not to get in fights with with every customers but just be firm be firm sometimes 
And remember that you can probably get $2 another way. But yeah, if, like, still it's always good to have a few commissions. I was supposed to actually work on a commission right now, but I'll do it this evening. Because now I want to finish this one. Okay, so I want something kind of creepy. Do I make it really dark? I can have like dark like that. Oh, it's way too dark now. Something like that. It's always cool, like if you like, if you want to work on portraits anyway, you can do some portraits for a little bit of money and it's, it's good practice. Just trying to get the basic colors in. Probably too green, but we'll see. To remember also that the inside of his mouth is red, so I don't know if I'll keep the red like that. But I think I want even to. Maybe do something weird like that, you know. Like not go for the normal color. But do it all in kind of red tones. Yelmo. <laughs> Yelmo del Toro. Alright, so yeah, I think maybe it could be cool to have something that's sold in like reddish tones. So like, it's like it's inside a nightclub maybe or something like that, you know. Yeah, maybe, maybe go that route. That could be cool with the gun pretty dark but also yeah maybe also kind of pinkish do nightclubs have windows well some do i think it's been a while since i've been in one as most people i'm sure I think I've tried to I'll add some stars and I'll do the same with and the same with the Elmo one and it would be like the little thing that connects that connects both of them. Once I'm done with this, I'll take at least a couple of small requests before I log off because I really like doing requests. Right. 
This has been really fun to do. I love seeing uh, an idea take form, you know, take shape like that and chat with people in the same time. It's great. I'm sad we didn't gather 10 people here. Well, maybe next time, you know, and if you stick around a bit, I think I still have like 20 minutes to get this done or 15 and then I'll do some requests. So don't be too sad, Ketamine Pigeon. Next time, I'm gonna try to do to stream more. I still need to get my setup figured out, but like it could be I wish I could do it daily, you know. All right, let's add some dramatic shadows. Daily Obstruction says, this is beautiful. Hey, Daily Obstruction, are you comics? The comics guy, Daily Obstruction, right? Who did the collab with me, by the way. Mm -hmm. Okay, not working. Yeah, so... I'm gonna hook you up with my whole audience, like other people in the chat, which is sad. And Ketamine Pigeon, you should definitely check out Daily Obstruction if you don't know him, it's great comics. Actually, it's because you made Daily, you made that uh, strip where your character hangs himself that I, that I got reminded of the old drawing I did with Kermit. I want, wanted to do it again. So yeah, I remember you did that comic and it got, it got impeached by Instagram. And this doesn't work. I think it should be the other way around. Like, Yeah, and I also do, I did a, a collab with Daily Obstruction a while back, which was about an imposter, you know, which was really cool. Kermit Bonnet, I'm gonna try to get the reference. What's a bonnet? Is it like in French? It's like a, like a wool hat, woolen hat that you wear in the winter, or do you mean like the stuff, the nightcap, like something you'd put on with your pajamas? I'm not sure. Ah, oh yeah. No, no, it's I'm not, it's not a hat. It's like yeah, as you can see. I'm just trying to make it really dramatic over here. All right, 
it is starting to look good. Yeah, the cool one, yeah, the cool bonnet. It's funny because in French we do say un bonnet, but I'm not sure if it's actually like uh, English speaking people. I don't know if they say they use it like that. I feel like I never see that word. But yeah, in French we say the we, we use the same word to say that. Don't they call it? I think Americans call it maybe a beanie hat or something like that. A beanie. All right, let's had some texture to this. This is a bit intense. Thanks. Yeah, I think it's uh, it's gonna going to it is better than I expected at the beginning actually, at least. All right. Why would he commit suicide? So, let's see how the two look. This one seems a bit almost. Maybe it should be a bit darker to this one should be a bit more intense maybe let's work on that It's always tricky. I was eating soup. What did I miss? Well, not that much. We had the famous guest artist here. Didn't draw, but the Daily Obstruction Comics would up by. Talked about stuff. I don't know why we were there. But basically, yeah, check this out. So this is the Elmo one. And we are just going to do... I'm just gonna do a couple of small adjustments yeah, like that. All right, like that. What? All right, and then. This is okay like that, just add some stars. It's too big. It's a beautiful night. It's a beautiful night. And Elmo is digging a ditch in the middle of the forest and he's crying and he's got lots of money. Something shade is definitely going on, but we're not sure why. And I've been thinking about what you guys say about adding some small clues. And I think what could be really cool. Why is this so? What could be really cool is to add a little clue like so why the hell is this doing that this is 
let the car picked I'm getting the right color Why is that? That's where I'm It's a normal mode So ketamine pigeon is asking is that okay with you if I got you know, the future tattoo with one of your drawings? Yeah, definitely ketamine pigeon. Like, I'm really, I'm cool with that. Some people have some of my, my drawings as tattoo. Usually it's not mandatory because, you know, it's your body, but I usually ask if people can, you know, pay me a small fee for using my drawing. Uh, if you can't, I understand, just think about it, like, because the tattoo artist is getting paid and I wouldn't want you to not be able to draw, to use, okay, I see. Want, I wouldn't want you to not be able to have a tattoo, but if you can afford it, consider, like, send me a message and we'll, I can tell you, like, a small fee that you could license fee to use my drawing, you know. But yeah, definitely, and if you do get, if you do get a tattoo of my drawings, I definitely want to see it. Yeah, Kermit Mobile, definitely. I'm not even sure anyone will be able to notice it on Instagram, but it's just a nice little touch, you know. By the way, I, I'm missing a sign. Yeah, I'm broke now. You know, <laughs> That's the same reason I don't have any any tattoos right now. I have some that I'd like to have, but you know, it's just another expense. That's it's it's a lot if you want a good tattoo. So definitely not the priority expense, but one of these days I'm gonna get some. Actually, I would like to learn to be a tattoo artist as well. Be cool. Yeah, definitely, like, I'm, I, I love when people get tattoos of me, so yeah, send me a message if you want when you, when you want to book your tattoo, and I can help you out. Yeah, alright, so I think this one is good. Yeah, maybe a little bit of green on the shovel, except the other one. I don't know what you mean, stolen salad, about what happened before.
this one is good and this one this one is good as well I'm gonna sign this one it's gonna be like a, just two panels coming kind of I'm gonna sign it real small here but you know someone getting one of my drawings oh it's someone asked in the chat it's a uh, ketamine pigeon here was in the chat if he could get one of my pigeons tattooed and um, one of my drawings tattooed and as i as i told him like it's cool i appreciate it when people contact me and and can pay me a small fee because they're using my drawings you know and they're paying the tattoo artist but if they can't afford it you know it's fine like it's not it's not a big deal, but I appreciate it if, if you like my drawings. Anyway, like like me, Pigeon is broke right now, so not not getting tattoo anytime soon. Unless maybe a friend of you learns and needs you for practice. <laughs> Alright, let's sign this one. I'm gonna hide the signature here and I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret because it's not actually Pierre Mortel here, it's my evil artist alter ego Mortel Pierre. And whenever I do some dark stuff like that, it's usually because this stupid cartoon loser of Pierre Mortel has been replaced by Mortel Pierre, you know, the, I'm not the skeleton guy, I'm the fleshy guy just a sack of skin with eyes and lips pretty creepy right honestly i'd say that i did get a tattoo of your drawings in a few years time yeah man that's cool take the time to think it over but if you do i'd love to see it i'd love also to do tattoo designs like i'm getting some commissions for D, &D characters I want to also learn to use a, a tattoo machine and I'd like to do some tattoo designs and stuff like that because I think that could be really interesting. But you know, so much stuff to learn. I want to learn 3D, I want to do some animations and stuff like that. Oh yeah, it was me, Martel Pierre. No, oh, it was him all along. How can you hold a pen, your bag of flesh? Well, whatever, man, don't ask, don't ask how it happens. You wouldn't understand. I just got skills. All right. I think we're done with this, you know, as soon as the stream is done. Oh yeah, I have to add the stars. As soon as the stream is done, I'll go and post this on Instagram. Right now, let's just to thank you, my dear five viewers. Let's do some prompts. Let's do some suggestions. I'm just going to make a new one like that. And go ahead, ask me what you want me to draw. I'm going to do this quick and fun, but I'll draw anything you ask as long as I want to. Yeah, ketamine pigeon. I'm using dark forces. A zebra with is someone else going to complete? How long has Pierre been alive? We don't know. We don't know exactly. It's hard to tell. I think someone should complete ketamine pigeon sentence. A zebra with something someone yeah i'm just waiting for someone else to answer completely a zebra with a huge sword all right that works i'm gonna pull up a quick picture of a zebra because i'm not really sure how to draw it 
I think it's gonna be a silly zebra. It's not gonna be your Final Fantasy buff anime zebra, you know. It's gonna be a goofy, goofy as zebra. But it's still good to practice to have some reference. All right. You know what, sad. I'm kind of disappointed in you for saying that, but I'll allow it. Let's do a zebra with a huge sword and a fat ass. All right. Just writing this. Probably going to post this one on TikTok, actually. You guys, I have so many social media to manage. I would totally pay someone to do it for me, you know. It's a lot of work, but I think it's worth it. Like, I've been doing this for a while and I'm starting to have, you know, cool people following me like you guys. I still need to hold on for a while. Too late. Too late, sad. It's too late to take it back. This is what you brought to the world. I hope you're proud of you. All right, let's go. So here's some, I'll show you all my drawing tricks. So always start with the ass if you can. It's a big ass. You know, I think it's not big enough right now. Let's make it, you know, big. I says I kind of tricky to draw. You'd think it's simple, but it's not that easy actually. You have to look at a lot of reference pictures. I'm gonna have like an action, action pose. No, you will have to pay alimony for your SE creations. It's too late, sad. It's too late. The damage is done. No, another horny, horny drawing. Is upon us. What the hell am I doing with my life? I ask myself. Nice cake. You know, I already forgot your apology. This is a very realistic zebra head, right? He's not happy that you're looking at his ass, you know. He's got a personality, he's got dreams. And most importantly, he's got a huge sword. So Stone said, ask, you have a TikTok, you're targeting Gen Z, you know? Well, yeah, you know. I'm even going to launch my own vape brand. I'm targeting everyone who likes drawings and the thing is with social media is that you have to remember that they're the property of billionaires who don't really care about you. And so as an artist, if all your audience is on one social media and they decide to change the game, you can lose everyone. You can lose everything you've built, you know, because in the new update, they change the way you get views or they ask you to pay or whatever. So that's why I try to be on many social media if I can. All right. So tell me that's not a big sword. It's not very epic. I know I'm not great at drawing like big anime swords. I have to add, because the zebra have that kind of mohawk punk hair. Yeah. Right, something like 
that this is really bad anatomy guys probably got some implants this has Gen Z written all over it <laughs> yeah I'm gonna eat that up I'm hoping to get some you know launch some weird weird fan art trend where people just draw cute cute big butt big sword zebra you know it's gonna become a household name probably gonna get a netflix deal that's horrible I, yeah. oh I had a bite on a butt like Martin got in Madagascar mm. I don't remember that that stuff it's, does he get beat like he's got a scar I think I'm gonna have to Google Martin Madagascar bite. All right, this is starting to look good. Probably my best work yet, actually. Let's add some stripes to the legs as well. Guys, I think you have to explain the bite thing to me because I'm not googling Madagascar zebra, but you know, I know there's probably some weird fetish community of that. All right, I think I'm gonna get an explanation. You know what, guys? You've been so nice, I'm gonna make this one in color. Yeah, I know, I, I know Madagascar, like I've seen it. I just don't remember the bite stuff. Yeah, I remember they end up in a crate in Madagascar with all the lemur guys. Oh, I think I remember that bite stuff. Now that you say it. Oh yeah, all right. I'll try, I'll try to do something, but like remember with that style, it's pretty hard to suggest just a bite scar. Let me look it up, but. I'm 
I'm actually googling that shit right now. Martin Madagascar, but bite. Oh, a lot of very suggestive images. Oh my god, that's creepy. Yes, salad, I don't think the being too sexy part is canon, but yeah. I'm just going to add a little scar on his butt, a little pink scar. You've seen what you guys made me do. Alright, and then maybe I can try doing a bit of sh shading. What's going on here? Oh, yeah. Try if this shape is well closed, I should be able to select it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, digital and text. You joined at the perfect time. This is a collective request for a zebra with a huge sword and a fat ass, who also has a bite on his butt as a Madagascar reference. So as you see, high art, high art is going on here. I'm just going to add a little bit of shadow. Let's make it slightly colored. Okay, that's way too much. Should have known, yeah, you definitely should have known. I mean, you say zebra, who doesn't think huge butt with a, with a scar on it? It's actually true, like if you watch natural documentary that they bite the butt. Yes, Dolan Salad, Madagascar was a big movie. I mean, I saw it and I, I've missed a lot of movies, but I do like animated movies, so maybe that's why. Yeah, it's a movie, it's like... It's like animals living in a zoo in New York, and they decide to escape. Because one of them wants to, to reconnect to his roots, and they end up in Madagascar. So I think it's a DreamWorks movie. It was the sexual, sexual awakening for generation. I mean, maybe, yeah, that would explain why so much people buy zebra costumes now. It was Space Jam all over. Well, I think like the most recent Space Jam like, yeah, Lola Bunny was way too hot. <laughs> like, it's kind of creepy from the animators. Basically, she was acting like she was in a softcore, <laughs> softcore adult movie inside a kid's movie. But Space Jam was weird anyway. But you know, the, I think the worst movie for spreading furry, furry stuff to the youth was uh, Zootopia. I've seen so much creepy stuff about that film. 
mean, I don't judge, you know, whatever people like, but still, it's kind of weird when, when you see some of the stuff you see about Zootopia. I mean, there was at least two or three Madagascar movies, right? I don't know if one of them was very recent. It's start like this movie has been there a while. All right, guys, I'm gonna take one last request. Here's the hero you've always wanted. I'm gonna add a couple of sparkles. Even draw a sparkle correctly. Oh my god. <laughs> Trying to sneak up on Lion, but this dummy thick, thick chick keeps clapping and giving away his location. I think I just found the perfect tattoo for me. Yeah, like ketamine pigeon, if you get this one tattoo, you, you don't have to pay me. Actually, I think I'll give you some, I'll pay you some damage, you know. I'll reimburse you for what you've been through. All right, so if you have, you guys want one last ID, I'll do one. Buff duck, yeah, you know what? That's a good way to finish it. Someone can add to the suggestion, maybe say something the buff duck is doing, or buff duck versus buff pigeon. All right, that seems cool. Or a buff duck building a miniature ship. Well, you know, maybe a buff duck building a miniature ship with a buff pigeon. All right, let's do that. This is getting weird. I have to be honest, guys, I think I'm gonna kind of half ass this one because I'm getting a bit tired. Yeah, like ketamine pigeon, like really, if you do get this tattoo, like, I really respect you so much. I think it would be a very admir admirable thing to do. So when are we gonna end up on the just chatting pod side of Twitch? Uh, I, I'm not sure what that means. Is, it, is this a reference to a specific Twitch stream or just do you mean like streamers who just chat with their audience? Because I'm done for that. right oh twitch has an entire subcategory of women in bikinis white chat names on their tits i mean yeah like it's kind of pathetic of from the people who buy this and I'm sure it's, you don't feel the best about yourself when you do that but you know 
at least they're getting paid and it's not the worst thing to do. Oh yeah, I heard about all that. Pools, hot tub and beaches. I mean, I guess I would write on my tits if people pay me enough. But you know, for now I'm gonna focus on drawing just because it's a pain to wash off the Sharpie. All right, let's do this half ass. All right, we got Bob Duck. Yeah, I mean, like, sure, it's not. I mean, if you're gonna have to work as a cashier or something like that, you know, why not do that instead? I think it's just well, because I know some of the people who do that are also like, kind of despising the girl they pay to do it. But it should be like, you should be happy about that. Why? And I hope at least they are getting some decent money from it. If I had tits, I would do it. Well, you say that, but you know, I don't even know because I think a lot of time, the, like it's actually a lot of work to do that. You have to show your face all the time and I'm sure you get a lot of really bad messages. So it's not even, I mean, I'm not saying it's like working on a coal mine or something, but I think it can be kind of tiring as a job, you know. I, maybe probably don't make you like men too much. Just like once a week thing. <laughs> yeah, like just writing on your tits as a hobby. You know, I'm, I'm sure even at the, as a man you could probably do something like that but it will be men who pay you <laughs> too you know honestly between doing that or working for amazon or whatever like It's like, it's a job. Probably kind of weird to have to keep up the facade, you know. All right, so buff pigeon. I think if you could put this, yeah, mentally that must be so hard. Says stolen salad, yeah. Jesus, that pigeons focused. Yeah, you know, pigeons are very intense like that. I think he's got like the manual in his hands. Had the face of my girlfriend when I order fries and she wants some. Yeah. Like she just said, oh, I'm not really hungry. I don't want fries. But you know, she was counting on you, on you ordering them and she maybe can steal like half of your plate. That happens to the best of us, you know. I just don't want the guilt that comes with ordering the fries. I just want the fries. I think, I think their building isn't doing too well. It's a, like a utility knife. Some glue. All right. 
I think that works. Alright, you know what, since I've done the other one in color, I'll do this one as well. 